So, is this a real deck? Kind of feels like it might be. I don't know. Obviously, I won all my matches. Uh, played against two Death Shadow decks. Affinity. Abzan. And something else. Granted, not, like, a lot of those decks are, like, a little bit on the slow end. And the Affinity deck did not have, like, the best draws ever. But, yeah. This could be a real deck. Main deck seems real good. Uh, Inventor's Fair, I'm not sold on. I think that could potentially just be the third Ghost Quarter. But, like, the main deck is pretty good. Sideboard is just kind of nonsense. I feel like could use a better way to beat Stony Silence. But maybe that's not even the right way to go about it. Maybe it is just, you know, you have your artifacts. And you just kill them with Tezzeret. And maybe Herald of Anguish. And hopefully that's good enough while you lock them out under Ensnaring Bridge? Question mark? I don't know. I wonder if there's, like, a better transformational sideboard that you could do. I'm kind of skeptical about that, but I don't know. Maybe it just involves, like, more discard or... God, I don't want to play, like, Repeal. I mean, I do want to play Repeal. Repeal is, like, one of my favorite cards of all time. I just don't think it's particularly good, but that could be an out. It could just be, like, the, the turn that you need to, like, you know, make a bunch of stuff with Sword of the Meek or whatever. So, uh, lessons learned. No one can beat Thopter Sword, at least as far as, like, the popular decks. Uh, just, did, like, everyone just, like, conceded the turn after, basically. War of Invention basically turbocharges that, which is cool. You have a bunch of zero mana artifacts and one mana artifacts and stuff. Uh, Pentad Prism was pretty cool. There were definitely a lot of games where if Tezzeret was just, like, this four mana card, it would have not been very good, but Pentad Prism just kind of turbocharged that. Turbocharge the War of Inventions. Uh, Brutality seems good with Bridge in theory. Uh, there were some games where, you know, I'd have excess lands or whatever, and having a discard outlet would actually be nice, so that's cool too. Just seems like this main deck is really well built. So, uh, other than, like, swapping Inventor's Fair for Ghost Quarter and maybe maybe getting rid of River Tears just because I'm really stupid. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, main deck looks good. It just... Work on the sideboard, figure out a good plan, and yeah, if you've had experience with this deck, let me know. How do you beat Stony Silence? Because, I mean, I, I, I did. I beat decks that had it. I didn't really beat anyone that cast it, though. So, obviously uh, a tall order. Uh, no one really played any hate against me, I guess, which is, I mean, that's why I won, but I would not expect that to be the case going forward, and that's what these 15 cards should be addressing. So, work on that. As always, thanks for watching. See you all next week.